morning. It is day 11 of my Camino and things are going to change for the next couple days. I am scheduled to go from Belorado to San Juan de Ortega today, San Juan de Ortega to Burgos tomorrow, and then have a rest day in Burgos. And I'm still going to do that because I have prepaid for my lodging for all of those days. So, um, I'm going to continue to move forward in that way, but I think I'm going to take the next two, today and tomorrow, off of walking, and then of course the rest day, that's three days. As you know, I've been struggling with a blister on the bottom of my right foot. It's on the ball of my foot. It's pretty big. It takes up about a third of, like the center third of the ball of my foot. And it's meaning that the walking has been quite painful. And I have some concern about it getting infected. It's fine right now but I just feel like it's not gonna heal if I just keep walking 20 kilometers on it every day. It's not like a blister on another part of my foot where I can wear a different pair of shoes so it rubs differently or change the way I lace my shoes because it's on the bottom of my foot. I have to step on it every other step. So I think that's the best choice for me. I've never been someone who was of the mindset that I have to walk every step of the way. I already haven't. Um, I, of course, intend to walk the last 100 kilometers because that's required for the Compostela certificate at the end. But for right now, that's not important. What's important is that I'm able to get to the point of the last 100 kilometers. And I'm afraid if I keep going as I am, it could put an end to my Camino if this pain doesn't go away. So I'm just going to take a taxi the next couple days. And then hopefully after the three days, it will be healed and I will be on my way to recovery and pain-free walking. So that's the plan for today and the next couple of days. I lead study abroad groups um, at the college where I teach and we always tell students you need to be able to adapt, you need to be able to expect the unexpected and be flexible and like I said adapt to changes and that's what I'm doing. I'm following my own advice and doing what I think is best for me under these circumstances. So I don't have to check out of my hotel till 10 a.m. today, so I'm gonna wait a little bit because I can't check into my new place tonight until I think one, and it's about, I think about a half hour um, taxi ride to get to that next town. So if I get there in time to maybe eat lunch and then check in, that might be the best way to go. So I will keep you updated and we'll see how things go. So wish me luck. All right, I've left my hotel and I'm now going over to the main square. I'm going to get some breakfast and there's a tourist office up here. So that's who I'll ask to get me a taxi and then we'll go from there. I am now in the town of San Juan de Ortega. I did take a taxi here. It wasn't too long. I felt really sad as we were walking by because the Camino was right next to the uh, the highway part of the way so I was feeling sad that I wasn't walking and going through the little towns but I think this is the right choice I am happy with my choice this is pretty much the entire town behind me and my hotel is just to my left it's 11 o'clock everything pretty much opens at 1 so there's a bar just down that way so I think I'll just go sit down and wait and then see what happens next this bar is run by the same people who run the hotel I'm staying at. So I'm just gonna hang out here. He said we could check in at 12.30. So a little less than an hour and a half. Ham and cheese sandwich and of course, Coke Zero. Here is my accommodation for tonight. It's the Hostel La Inera, I think it's called. Here's my room for tonight. So you come in that door there and the bathroom is next to that and a closet. 
And then they only made one bed. So in, in this place, they made it really clear that if you are here as a single, you can only use one bed. And they made it pretty hard to use a second bed. But it said if you use the second bed, they'll charge you for it after the fact. So no problem here. Yeah. And then over here is sort of a terrace and backyard. Nice.